not every day a mousling gets to skate first in a big ice show. But today, I get my chance. on the ice, skating in front of everybody. Wish me luck. Is my ice show really today? It's really, really, really today. Come on, wake up! Alice, I can't believe the day is finally here. I hope I don't make any mistakes. You've been practicing for weeks. I know you'll do great. I feel it in my toes. How do I look? Perfect. What about me? Double perfect! <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's see. Lunches. Got them. Skates. Got them. Just one more teeny practice jump. Oops! That was more like a plop. I think you were moving too fast. Faster than the music was going. Angelina, Alice, oh. you'd better get going, girls. Yes, we're going to need plenty of time if we're going to practice and have lunch before the show. Come on. Off to the ice rink we go. Hang on a minute, girls. You have a big, busy day ahead of you. You need to keep track of the time and of your things. Don't worry about us. We'll be the most responsible mouselings in all of Mouseland. Do you have everything you need? Got it all. What about these? <laughs> Oops, sorry. Ahem. <clears throat> huh? And these? Double oops. is the move that's hardest for me. Mine is the axle, but I know I'm going to get it right. Here I go again. <laughs> oh! I moved slower that time and it still went wrong. That time, you moved more slowly than the music. First I was too fast, now I'm too slow. Matching my spins to the tempo is tough. <gasps> oh no! We forgot our lunches! Oh no! Oops. Sorry. I didn't know birds like jam sandwiches. <sighs> again. Cool! You followed the tempo and you were great! Thanks, Alice. Watch this! <laughs> We're the most ready for our ice show ice skaters in all of Mouseland. Yes! All this practicing has made me hungry. If 
we hurry, we have just enough time to go to Mrs Thimble's shop to get a smoothie. Mmm, I can already taste a delicious berry and milk smoothie. Mmm, me too, scrumptious. I'll be fine if I remember to skate faster when the tempo of the music is faster. I have an idea. Let's practice. Try this. <laughs> See? You can keep the tempo. Thanks, Alice. I'll try to remember it at the ice show. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. And your toes? <laughs> of course. Uh-oh. Either we're drinking our smoothies too slowly, or that clock is really fast. Only a few minutes to get back to the ice rink. We can't be late. <laughs> Was quick, just in time to warm up. Let's stretch our arms down to the ground. And now let's stretch our arms to the sky. Good. Lace up those skates and let's glide like swans onto the ice for a practice run. Onto the ice, my lovely swans. Oh no! Oh no, oh no! Oh what? My skates, they're not here. Are you sure? But where are they? Where? We'll work this out. Slow down and take a deep breath and focus. Right. Good. Now retrace your steps. Where did you two go? Let's see. My house? I left my house without the skates. Wait. Alice, you took the skates from the house. Hmm. <gasps> the park! I forgot my skates at the park. No. We forgot our sandwiches at the park. I know. We almost left them here after practice. But we came back for them, remember? Then we went and drank our smoothies. You carried our skates out of Mrs Thimble's corner shop. No, Angelina. I carried my skates out of the shop. skates at Mrs Thimble's. Do I have time to get them, Miss Mimi? Yes, but hurry. There are only a few minutes left.
Excellent job, girls. You kept up with the music perfectly. Thanks, Miss Mimi. I'm sorry you missed the beginning of the show, Angelina. It's okay, Alice. It's my fault. And you were super fantastic. You skated beautifully today, Angelina. But I'm sorry I lost my skates and missed the beginning of the show. We can all get careless. Next time you'll be more careful. I will. Me too. I'm going to be careful too. while my sister Polly is pretending to go to school. Just like me. Look, Mum. Mm. I'm Angelina and this is my pretend satchel. That's nice, Polly. Oops. I mean, Angelina. Mum, do you have some paper and a pencil, please? <gasps> Here, use these. Thanks, Polly. You mean, thank you, Angelina. I'll get it! I'll get it! What's all the excitement about? It's Miss Mimi's birthday, Dad. Hi, Polly. Come on in. Miss Mimi's at school marking homework on Saturdays, isn't she? Mm-hmm. Until one o'clock. And then she walks right past the lunchtime theatre. That's where the surprise will be. Hurry! Everybody's here. Hello, Mrs. Mrs. Mouseling. Hi. Hello, Hello children. children. Now I will be Polly again. Oh, good. I missed Polly. But this is still my pretend satchel. Lovely. <laughs> Would you mind taking some muffins into Angelina's friends, please? <laughs> Your muffins are so yummy. I made a list of what we need for the party. Does your list say we need a present? Of course. If we put all our money together, we can buy something really, really nice. Uh, is it okay if I stay here while you go shopping? I'm composing a song. Composing? <laughs> composing. Creating a song. I'm writing the music. <laughs> I like it. Thanks, but it's only the beginning. I still need to write the lyrics. Lyrics? Lyrics are the words to a song, like icing on a cake. <gasps> Speaking of cakes, did you put birthday cake on the list? Of course. Mum said she'll bake one. Oh, yay! <laughs> Hooray! Marco, don't you want to jump up and down and make squeaky noises too? Um, no, thank you. OK, maybe we can help you after we get Miss Mimi her present. I can contribute. Thanks, Marco. Bye, Mum. Be careful, girls. It's a very blustery day. Oh, I hope those beautiful slippers I saw at Twinkletoes are still there. Oh, they're so amazing. Miss Mimi's going to love them. She really will. <gasps> this is the most wonderful present ever. Thank you. It was Angelina's idea. Angelina, 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 Angelina. Angelina? <gasps> huh? What? The lady in Twinkletoes said the slippers are made of satin and somebody sewed them <gasps> by hand. But we don't have enough money. But we need to get Miss Mimi a great present to show her how much we love her. We need a present and we don't have much time left. <gasps> Wait! Those ballet slippers were made by hand. And all of us have hands. 
We would just need some satin. Oh, Mum has satin in her sewing basket. We, we can, can make, make the, the slippers, slippers ourselves. Yay! <laughs> Isn't that Marco's song? It is. It keeps popping into my head too. <laughs> <laughs> Mum, where's the thread and ribbons? In the sewing cupboard. And how long before Miss Mimi's party? An hour and a half. Oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> I love your song, Marco. You're a wonderful composer. <laughs> Thanks, Mrs Mouseling. A tutu instead. A tutu? Angelina, I forgot. Mum wanted you to know the cake's all done. <gasps> Miss Mimi's cake! Oh, I hope it's really big. Well, it's pretty, but I think it needs to be bigger. A lot bigger. We need a really big cake to go with our special birthday present. Vicky, help me make more cake. I'll help, I'll help. You can help me make the tutu. I can. Whoa! Add some more muffins. Squash them in. Can you please put a few more muffins in, Vicky? Thanks. And we'll need a lot of icing. Coming up. <clears throat> Sort of lost control. <gasps> uh oh. <gasps> oh. Whoops. <sighs> well, at least the slippers and the tutu will be nice. Oh, dear. Oh, no! What happened to the cake? What happened to the slipper? We cut it by mistake. <sighs> oh. What about the tutu? Uh, it oh. came out even worse. Oh, and we have to leave for the party in ten minutes. Um, I'll try and fix the slipper. I can help with the cake. I can lick the spoon. <laughs> And we can do a dance to my song while we work, Polly. We love you. Yes, we do. Oh, we love you. Huh? Wow, Angelina. Those lyrics are great for the song I'm writing. Somehow your music reminded me of Miss Mimi. <gasps> oh, Miss Mimi. There's still so much to do. Cake, gifts, decorations. We've got to put up balloons. There isn't even one balloon, not anywhere in this whole school. Well, I think we did a pretty good job using daisies as decorations. Miss Mimi does like flowers. <gasps> Look, the cake is here. Whoa. Angelina! Angelina! I ran out of fabric to fix the slipper. Now we don't even have a present. <gasps>
decorations, no cake. Not a very good birthday party. <laughs> We can't have a birthday party without a cake. We could use my muffin as a cake. Thanks, Polly. Polly, what else is in that bag? Lots of things. It's my pretend satchel. Beautiful. Is someone having a party? Well, surprise! surprise! It's, it's a, a birthday, birthday party for you. For you. <gasps> oh. Uh, here's your card. We drew it ourselves. <gasps> and here's your cake. Sort of. Um. There aren't any real presents. It all went wrong. <gasps> Wait a minute. Maybe there is a present after all. We couldn't buy you anything, but we do have something for you. Let's sing a song. On this, your happy birthday won't take too long. Just one thing that we want to say, we love you. Yes, we do. Oh, we love you. Oh, that song is the most wonderful gift in the world. What gift? Gifts don't have to be things you buy at a shop. Gifts can be songs or dances. Mm. <laughs> To be really good, all a gift needs is to have lots of love in it. <laughs> We'd like to bring a very special gift to you. And when we sing, and when we sing each and every word is true. We love you. Yes, we do. Oh, we love you. Angelina Ballerina, and I'm a new student at Camembert Academy. In some ways, my school is like any other school. So, if six ladybirds are sitting on three leaves, how many ladybirds are left if two are scared off by a cricket? Oh, I know! But in other ways, Camembert is very, very different. Pirouette left. Pirouette right, tap your toes with all your might. Crouch like a cricket, ready, steady, hop. Come and bear kids, never stop. Chirp, 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 <laughs> What's going on? Why is everyone acting like a cricket? Oh no! Angelina said cricket! <laughs> <laughs> pirouette left, pirouette right! Come on, Angelina, join in! What do I do? Follow me! Tap your toes with all your might! Crouch like a cricket, ready, steady, hop. Come and bear kids, never stop. That's the way, Angelina. Now you've got it. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Fun. 
Like a silly dance. Yes, but it wasn't dancing to a song. It's marching to a rhythm. One, two, three, four. Watch us march across the floor. <laughs> <laughs> it's called the Camembert Cheer. It's a really old tradition that only Camembert kids know about. Like the school handshake. Academy, the cheers and handshakes, the teachers and dance classes. This school is almost perfect. Almost? What's missing? Alice. <sighs> She's my oldest friend. We've been friends for as long as I can remember. She must be so amazing. She's amazing, all right. Tell you about a girl, but there's so much to say. I know that when she's around, the fun's not far away. Always singing and has a smile, she's my best friend. I've known her for quite a while, on her I can depend. My friend is smart and funny, my friend is sweet as honey. I'm glad I got a friend so true. Can we meet her? You could come over on Saturday and I'll introduce you. You mean we can play with Alice? It will be great. You'll love her. She's here. Angelina. Alice. Mm. <laughs> 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 Everybody, this is my oldest friend Alice. Alice, this is Gracie. Hello. This is Vicky. Mm, welcome. And of course, Marco. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. So, what are we playing? You can pick something. Oh, okay. Um, how about... I know. Let's play school. Yes! Um, okay. We'll be the students and you can be the teacher. School time! Um, Alice, I mean teacher, at our school, the bell doesn't go clang, clang, clang. It goes ding, 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 ding. She's right. Like this. Oh, OK. Thanks. School time. Everybody sit down, please. Good morning, class. Good morning, Miss Alice. Who wants to take the register? Gracie? Oh, you forgot something. Forgot what? <laughs> Why, the silly morning stretch, of course. At Camembert Academy, the first thing we do every morning is stand by our desks and stretch to the sky like this. Huh? Mm hmm OK, everybody up and stretch. Uh, but then we bend way over and touch our fingers to our toes. OK, now touch your toes. Oh, and then we give our bodies a big shake, shake, shake. <laughs> Shaking is fun. Oh, Miss Alice. Stretch time is over. It is? 
Okay, then. Let's all take our seats and... Yes, Marco? After the stretch, we always do the school handshake. Oh, the school handshake? Now do we take the register? Why, that's up to you, Miss Alice. You're the teacher. Time class. Ah, uh, story time. The full dance studio at Camembert. We usually have story time after lunch. Mm? Oh, uh, Miss Alice is right. At our old school, we had story time in the morning before break. We could do it that way. All right, let's try it. Sounds good. <sighs> Class, today I thought I'd read you my favourite story, Goldilocks and the Three Crickets. Crickets? Pirouette left, pirouette right. Now what are they doing? The camembert cheer. Tap, Tap your toes with all your might. It's not fair. I was reading my story. I know, but camembert kids never... <gasps> Our playtime is not going well. Why don't we listen to Miss Alice now? Remember, it was my turn. Your turn? First we played Camembert School. Now we're supposed to be playing Chipping Cheddar School. But we don't know how to do things at your school. And I don't know how you do things at Camembert. That's why we should take turns, so everyone can have some fun. OK, uh, but who goes first? Oh. Knock, knock, <gasps> lunchtime. Are you all having fun? We're mostly not agreeing on what we should play. We wanted to play school. But some want to play it like my new school, and some want to play it like my old school. Hmm. Deciding which school to play could be a problem. What if you all went to a brand new school? <gasps> Let's make up our own school, with our own way of doing things. Like our very own handshake. And school cheer. We can make up all sorts of things. Let's do it! Yay! <laughs> Sounds to me like your new school is open. There's a school bell. You know what that means. Handshake time! <laughs> Let's make up a cheer for our new school. We could start with a square dance. do -si do Yes! <laughs> Do an arabesque. Now we just have to think of a word. Huh? You know, like chirp, chirp. I've got it. How about friends? Yes! Well, then, come on. What are we waiting for? One, two, three. Friends! friends. Today, 
I met someone with superpowers. The volcano started rumbling. Oh, no! It was going to erupt. Oh, no! Suddenly, heroic music filled the air. Super Sally flew up to the volcano. Whoosh! Then she used her super strength to throw a boulder into it. Plop! <gasps> super Sally saved the day! Hooray! Again! Again? But I've already read it five times. Six times, please! All right. Sally thought she was a perfectly normal little mouseling. But then... Hi, Mum! Hi, Polly! Her sister came in. Look what we learnt in class today. Odyssey song. Isn't it such fun? Yeah! It's lovely. Now, if you'll excuse us, Polly and I were reading a book together. For the sixth time. <laughs> oh, that must be a really good book. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best book ever. Super Sally. I love, 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 love it. What's it about, Polly? Super Sally has superpowers. She can fly. Whoosh! And she's super strong. Grr. And her favourite colour is pink. And her favourite food is cheese. Ah, <sighs> just like me. I'm just like Super Sally. Ooh, maybe I have superpowers too. Maybe I'm... I'm Super Polly! <gasps> uh, help! Super Polly to the rescue! Uh, Hooray! Super Polly! <sighs> Super job, Super Polly! Just for that, you get to stay up late tonight and play with your dolls. Hooray! Earth to Polly. Oh, no. Whoa, whoa. Earth to Polly. <gasps> you mean Super Polly. I think she was daydreaming like you do, Angelina. It runs in the family. How did Super Sally become Super? I don't remember. Super Sally first got her powers when she heard a trumpet fanfare. Then all I need is a trumpet fanfare. What's a trumpet fanfare? <laughs> <laughs> a fanfare is a short, exciting piece of music played when something important happens. Like when Super Sally becomes super. And fanfares are often played on trumpets. You've seen trumpets at your father's music shop. Oh, can I go there? Maybe if Dad plays a faffa and a foofa. A fanfare. <laughs> That's it. Maybe if Dad plays a fanfare, I'll get superpowers. Whoosh! Well... Pretty please with cheese? If I'm a superhero, I can save lots of people. <laughs> well, all right. This is a trumpet, Polly. You make it play music by buzzing air into it with your mouth. Then you push these buttons, called valves, to make music. Watch. That's really, really great. And now, here's what a trumpet fanfare sounds like. Um, not now, sweetheart. I have work to do. But I can record the fanfare on this music recorder and you can take that to the park. Yes, do that! Please!
Got it. Listen. Why do you need to play a fanfare in the park anyway? I need to be outside when I fly. Or I'll bump my head on the ceiling. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, wait, no it doesn't. Did you say when you fly? I think I might have superpowers. Oh. Well, that's very exciting. Yes, bye. Bye. Let me know how it all goes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Please, Angelina. Bye, everybody. <coughs> Try playing it louder. <coughs> it's not working. Maybe you should start with an easier superpower. Yes, like super strength. I'll go and pick up our house. I don't think Mum would like that. It would make a mess. Why don't you pick up that bench instead? That's easy for Super Polly. <coughs> she can't lift that. It's too heavy. We'll lift it for her. But try not to let her see. Come on. I think this is a super bench. Try again, Polly. You can do it. One, two, three, lift. Ooh, I have super strength. This is easy. No, it isn't. Wow, a ladybird. Still up there? Oops! Uh. You are holding it up! Sorry, Polly. We know you really want superpowers. We were just trying to make you happy. Oh, I'm really, really annoyed. Because we helped you? No, because I'm not super at anything. You're super at drumming. And at spelling. And at telling stories, and looking after pets, and... Marco! Oops! And Vicky, you're super at art. Angelina, you're a super dancer. But I'm not super at anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Don't cry, Polly. I'm sure you're super at something. Yes, everyone's super at something. We just have to find out what. So let's try to find out what you're super at. OK. All right, Polly. We've got a lot of things for you to try. I'm sure you'll be super at one of them. Because you were singing. And your feet are sticking out. Oopsie. I'm not super at hide-and-seek either. 
That was the fanfare you were singing, right? Oh, yes. I really like it. Dun, 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 dun. You sing it so perfectly. Polly, we've discovered what you're super at. Singing. Yes. yes. Oh, I have an idea. Let's write some words for the fanfare. Then Polly can sing it. Stupendous idea, Marco. Yeah. Introducing Super Polly, the super singer! Yay! <laughs> Don't worry if it seems hard to kick a soccer ball. Don't worry if when you dance, you slip and take a fall. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>